Hey there, folks. Johnny Hyland here in my studio in Chatham, Virginia. And I'm so excited to be bringing this video to you today on one of my favorite new pedals. It's called the Revival Tram by Origin Effects. You know, folks, I've been blessed to be working with Brother Simon and Origin Effects for the last couple of years. Been a big fan of the Cali 76 Deluxe Compressor. And, of course, now I've got this new Revival Tram that is just mind-blowing. Of course, folks, if you haven't heard, I know there's tons and tons of videos out there on it already. But it is actually a pedal that's based after the old brown Fender Deluxe, you know, from like 61, 62. And they're actually, those little amps are known for their bias tremolo. I think they, Fender actually changed the sound of the tremolo when they come out with the blackface amps. But Simon really, really nailed uh, the amazing bias tremolo and, of course, a killer overdrive in this amazing revival trim. Of course, you've heard me jam at the front of this, but can't wait to uh, show you some sound samples here in a minute. But before we do that, we need to take a look at this bad boy. Okay, folks, we're looking down at this pedal now. And as you can see, it is a bigger pedal than his little brother, the Cali 76 Deluxe but still an amazing, amazing pedal. Um, from top left to right, you actually have three knobs on the top for the overdrive section. And I say overdrive section because really, it is like the tube breakup that you would get from the original Brown Fender Deluxe. So you have your output, you have your tone knob, and then you have a drive knob. And of course, I love the way Simon laid these knobs out because it's uh, kind of resembles all of my favorite overdrive pedals. Very easy to use, user-friendly. Then underneath that, you have two big knobs that actually work the tremolo. So essentially, it's uh, the intensity uh, of the tremolo, and then there's the speed knob of the, that helps set the speed of the tremolo. Now, there are two little switches on the inside there, one of which is a shaper uh, of how the tremolo actually uh, responds to your playing. And, of course, I have fun with that. I just kind of, I guess, to me, it kind of represents if the tremolo sounds uh, old school and traditional or it kind of gets choppy, um, which is really, really cool. Then, of course, the other switch next to it is a multi-switch where you can double and triple uh, the response time or the speed of the actual tremolo as well. Now, you can do that, of course, with the, uh, the big knob as well, or kind of slow it down or speed it up a little bit, depending on where you have that, that little switch. Then at the very bottom of the pedal, you actually have a little switch and what I call a little baby knob. It, what it does is that's a post EQ that works wonderfully uh, if you don't use an actual amp to run it into. Or say you have an amp that's really bright sounding or a dark sounding amp, you can actually use the post EQ in this pedal to actually make it pleasing to the ear and sound good for your rig. Now when I say for your rig, we live in a day and age where people run guitar a lot of different ways than just running an amp. So you could be running direct with this and help sculpt the sound with that post EQ as well. So no matter how you're running uh, this amazing pedal, it will work for you uh, in any capacity. Of course on the bottom you have two switches. The left switch is the tremolo itself and you can see the light is blinking. And if you actually shut that left switch off, the tremolo shuts it off, and then the light will turn red, and then of course the right switch is for the overdrive itself. And if you shut that off, the, the whole pedal goes into bypass mode. On the top of the pedal, you actually have your input and output, but you also have a jack where you can run a tap tempo for this as well. This is a nine volt pedal, so it works with any power supply like Voodoo Lab or Oh, who's my favorite, or of course anything else out there. So now let's jump into some sound samples. Nothing else is on except a little bit of delay right now and some reverb. <laughs> That is really pretty awesome right there, I must say. That's the actual tone I used at the front of this song. <laughs> Now, I 
also have one confession to make too, guys. When I'm playing any kind of chicken picking guitar, I have to have a compressor on. So I'm going to turn the Cali 76 on as well right now. Check this out. Come on there, little baby. There you are. So now it doesn't really change anything except add a little compression. Check this out. <laughs> Man, that tremolo is just so cool, guys. It really is. I think what we should do here is just kind of check uh, and see how, how fast and how slow this tremolo will go. So I'm going to leave the intensity where it is. I'm just going to turn the speed down. Now I have the intensity cranked all the way up. But that's pretty awesome, though. I'm going to take the shape knob, and let's just take that slow trim and reshape it, make it a little bit more choppy sounding. That's pretty cool. Now we'll speed that up. Let's go, let's speed it up a little bit here. Now I'm pretty blown away with that sound right there myself, guys. That's pretty awesome. Um, I still, though, like the, like the trim better, um, like the trim from the amp. So I'm going to go back to the top speed, uh, top shape, if you will. See, that just feels real natural to me. See, now you can do stuff like... Kind of gives you that Marty Stewart kind of tone, right? Now, the other thing I'm going to do is just push the multi button. Now, if we push down on the switch, it'll double it. Ah, man, if I lower this intensity a little bit, it makes me think of Jerry Reed. <laughs> Yeah, man, that trim sounds so good. Now, I'm going to move it down to the bottom one, and then it actually triples. Mighty cool. You know, guys, that's one of the best sounding trims I've ever heard in my life. Now, let's take the trim off, though, and have a little fun with this, this overdrive side. All right. Now we're into overdrive mode. And, of course, when I was actually doing this song, um, you know, I'm not using a lot of drive. And I don't know if you guys can see in this video or not, but I've got the drive knob at, like, 10 o'clock. It's barely going. Let's have a little more fun with the drive knob, maybe, like, in a blues setting. <laughs> Now that right there is a pretty fat blues tone, guys. But let's turn this up a little bit and let's see what it does. Wow. 
I think I need to add just a little bit of more tone to that. <laughs> Now, here's one of the cool features of this pedal. I've got the tone knob dimed for what I was doing. So I'm going to bring the tone knob back. But now I'm going to go down here to the post EQ. And what happens is if you roll this little diode at the bottom, if you roll that back, it takes a lot of the bass end out. And if we flip the little switch next to it, it will add highs. Now that's more what I'm talking about. So now I'm going to actually turn the gain up a little more. <sighs> wow, guys, I'll tell you. I, I, I have to stop just for a second to simply say, this still does feel like an old Fender cranked up. It sounds awesome. So I just got to play a little more with this. pretty smoking. Now I'm going to go ahead and turn it all the way up. Holy mercy. We still had quite a bit of room on that knob. Well, we've dimed it now. Let's check it out. <laughs> Man, that is just awesome. So, now guys, you know what I'm going to do is show you how responsive this pedal is because I'm gonna start at full bore with the with the uh, drive cranked all the way and slowly start bringing the guitar back in volume on the volume knob check this out <laughs> with the knob dimed completely so if I take this back now we obviously don't need that much gain I find for me that this pedal works so well from a chicken picking standpoint of when I take it back just like I did in the song and take it all the way back and of course this is with the Cali 76 on as well so <laughs> See, to me right there, guys, that's where this pedal shines. Uh, I just got to play a little more. <laughs> Folks, a Johnny Highland look at the awesome Revival Trim by my dear friend Simon and the folks at Origin Effects. This pedal is literally mind-blowing. So 
I just want to thank my buddy Alex and, of course, Simon and the folks at Origin Effects for sending this amazing pedal to me. I hope you guys go to your local retailer or music store where they sell Origin Effects and pick up this amazing pedal today. Or, I'm sure you can go to OriginEffects.com and pick this bad boy up if you can't find one at your local store. But anyway, this is Johnny Hyland uh, saying happy picking to you. God bless y'all. Thanks for watching this video. Make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel. Hit the like button and make sure you share. Um, and I just can't thank you enough for your support, truly, folks. And, of course, Simon and the folks at Origin Effects, love you guys. Thanks so much for everything. Cheers, God bless, and I'll see you soon.